All right, everyone. Welcome to the second episode of Manor Lords playthrough. But Shrek is the Lord. So we're going to jump right into it. And I was looking around and I realized I forgot to put some people here. So we're going to do that right away. And we got a new family. Look at that. We're off to a great start. Okay, we're going to waltz on my mind. We're going to drop. Okay, we're not going to do that. Let's put another family in the logging. And has if we gotten the other UK we have. If you go here, we can assign them to have an ox permanently. And actually, we're going to do this. We're gonna put a hitching post. Where's our trading post? It's right here. Huh, we don't have enough logs. Great. We're racking it, raking in the money. Okay, we might need to slow this down a little bit. We're getting a ton of planks, which is good, but I need timber. And they're burning through the timber faster than my people can get it. Um, I think this would help. Let's grab a forester. Oh, can't. Oh, yeah, we can. We can. Wait, 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 wait. Let's do that while we can. The forester will help them to be able to replant the forest that they're tearing down. But we're going to put a hitching post here, and then we're going to grab a couple of horses for the traders so that we can make more money. But uh, yeah, the logging camp, the reason it's taking so long is because they have to go so far. So hopefully when we get this built, they'll replant. Um, let's set a work area to right there. Perfect. And new family moved in. Let's see. What do we need to upgrade? Oh, we forgot to get water. Well, we're very limited where we could put this, but I think we'll put it right there. Hopefully that's close enough for these guys. But, uh, that's worrying. Huh, that might be a f future problem. They're, uh, they got access to firewood and food, but it's not counting. So, <laughs> yeah. Oh, we also want to make that vegetable patch. Oh, slow that down a little bit. Let's uh, put a couple of people and oh, one people into the foraging. So we can start getting some berries again, since we just love eating berries. We love it so much. That's all we eat. We have berries and eggs. It's just like the best kind of meal that you can ever get. Let's pop the speed back up again. Let's see, do we have roof tiles yet? We do. Let's go over here. Okay, we have enough to upgrade that. Let's do that. And then go down here. Well, let's start exporting some of these. Um, let's do a trade route. We don't have a ton right now, but there's not too many more buildings that we need for. We need to have the roof tiles for anyways. I think when we start upgrading these, we should, but I'm getting kind of worried. Hopefully this starts working out. We'll throw that extra family into here. And I might grab this too. It, it, uh, it helps your people. I assume it's just approval because they don't really get sick, but it gives them uh, herbs. But we're starting to get families moving in pretty consistently. Let's, uh, we still got five extra houses, but let's pop down a few more. I did that wrong. Let's go this way. Actually, I don't think we have enough logs. Yeah. Yeah, we need 26. Let's, uh, just put down half of them.
See, and they all got that little extra house, so that's perfect. Oh, and we want to get this down too. The mining pit. So I don't know if this needs to be right on top of it. We're going to do it anyways. So we got a lot of buildings going on. And not a lot of people to build them, so... Put the bloomery over here so they'll turn the iron into slabs and then these guys will turn the slabs into tools which we are almost out of tools because people keep stealing from us and that reminds me oh the enemy the other lord took care of the that uh, other camp that's perfect so we shouldn't be getting raided for the foreseeable future anyways until these guys come. We can't forget about that. And speaking of that, should look into getting a few more spears. Not export, import. Some spears and large shields. And we'll aim for not 50. We want five. That's good enough for now because our money's kind of dwindling a little bit. Let's see how is the roof tiles going. See, yeah, we got a ton of roof tiles going in now. And as soon as we have money, we can get some horses. And we got an extra family. Let's let them help build a little bit. Maybe as soon as this church is done, we'll uh, pop them over to another, have another trader. Perfect. So now we got two traders going out. Let's see if we can see what they're doing. This guy's trading. Let's see over here. I have no idea where he's going. Bye. <laughs> it's going off to sell my goods, I hope. Well, it's not my goods, I guess, technically. All right, another family's moving in. Um, I'm really tempted to add him here again. But uh, how's the berry situation going? Oh, you know what? We're going to hold off for now, adding another trader. Because we do need to have a family here, a family here, and a family here. But this church upgrade that should bring in more people. I really don't know what the point of this is. Um, I think that the only reason to have like people here is if your people die. Like if my soldiers were to die, but it only works if in this area. Is if they die, they'll get buried in the church. So that's not really an immediate problem. I don't know what else the priest does. So, for now, we're just going to leave that empty and the people just can go worship how they please. Did we unlock any new bells? No. We'll stick with that one. That's like generic. And uh, let's check to make sure. Okay, they got water access. Perfect. Okay, my. Okay, my plan did work. Okay. We need more fuel. There's the... <clears throat> okay, which one of these is the woodcutter? We'll add another one of those. And we do need to add someone there, as much as I don't want to. And we should probably add someone here. We also need to upgrade this. Have I done that yet? How about this one? Okay, I have done it. Perfect. We're just ahead of schedule here. And our approval is going up. Okay. 
Oh, okay, we have money now. Uh, I should have upgraded that while it was on my mind. Let's get that upgraded. Do you have this built yet? No. Almost done. Perfect. Let's start getting some of that, even though we can't really, we don't have families to process it yet. It's getting to the end of the year. These guys better start berry picking. This new bandit camp. How far away is it? Right there. Actually, you know what? How many hides are we rolling in? Let's, uh, crap. I might be overstretching here, but I want to get a tannery down. What the tannery, tannery will do is it'll give us access to clothes. And then we'll be able to upgrade these buildings to the level two. And they'll start having to pay, uh, like, you see there, I'm trying to point at my screen because I'm a dumbass. But, um, you'll, they'll start generating income and also we'll have access to all these other amenities that we can upgrade them to and also when we do that we'll be able to get new upgrades but uh yeah and i don't remember did i get the right thing here hopefully let's pop up the speed a little bit And I kind of built this a little too small. It's kind of annoying to have more than one marketplace because these guys will always just set up in the one place and you got to kind of move it around. And uh, we're starting to fill these houses in a little too fast. I should have put it down here so we had more room to expand. But we live and we learn. New families moving in. We'll put them much... Uh, Let's see. Do we have any iron ore? Okay, we got a little bit of iron ore. Oops. Built too close to them, but that's fine. Actually. Okay, so what this is going on right here. He is... The enemy lord is claiming... Or is... Noislo. Uh, Noislo. It's right here. He's claiming this area. And if we really wanted to, we could challenge him and we'd resolve it on the battlefield. But he has a lot more troops than us. And I can't afford to hire mercenaries right now. So we're just going to leave him to do that. And once he starts taking most of this land over, that's when we're going to really need to be focusing on an army. Because he'll come for us after he's taken everything else. So... Hopefully this tannery gets done. I'm going to put that up higher priority. Let's pop, bump up the speed again. And they have new uh, things coming in because there's going to be, they're going to add a king and we both serve the same king and you can kind of ask him for favors and such. But it's coming soon and we also just pay him to, to not do it, which we wouldn't even be able to do that. But uh, a manor is actually something that we need to build pretty soon as well. I'm going to get this industry going first, though. We have the tannery going. That's perfect. And actually, why not? Let's put down the manor. Um, I think we'll put it right here. We're going to have to uproot some houses, but that's something I can live with. And we're going to need more stone, but we can increase the retinue size. So we'll pop that down. And they should get that being built, but we need more stone. So let's make sure we're still importing some of that. Yeah, we're importing it. We're just not coming in very fast because we don't have a trade route set up. Yeah, we don't have any spears yet, or do we? Yeah, we haven't bought any spears yet. Um, actually, we're doing really good with money. Let's uh, let's actually make a trade route for these. 
That's gonna eat all uh, majority of our money, but we're doing good with money. We're good. Where is this bandit camp at? Oh, you know what? That's what these guys were doing. They cleared the bandit camp. I was about to go take care of it so I can get some more money, but too slow. Let's see. Yeah, we just need a clothing stall. So as soon as these guys get some materials, we'll be able to upgrade some of these buildings. But right now, there's no leather yet. See, so yeah, are they getting to it? Yeah, they're transporting goods. Look at this, we're growing so fast, but uh, we also want to make sure we don't grow too fast because then we'll be running out of food. Which, we're actually running out of fuel, but that is a problem for the near future. And one of the solutions to that I'm going to do right now is I'm going to... I don't want to make them too big, but we're going to have some burrages that are focused on vegetables. And three sounds good. So we're going to put these guys as vegetables, and every year they're going to get a ton of vegetables that contribute to our food supply. And I don't know if I'll go this path, but we can have an orchard where they'll uh, be able to produce uh, apples. But I don't know if we're going to go that path. Um, I should almost build farms. Because uh, I think when I looked at it. Okay, never mind. This is a terrible place for a farm. I think it was another playthrough I was doing. I had a, a lot of green. But okay, yeah, we don't have good farming areas. So we're not going to worry about that. Uh, maybe uh, eventually we will claim this. Yeah, maybe we'll try to claim this in the near future and uh, well not the near future it's gonna be a while but we'll claim this and we can start uh, having a farming area how are we doing we're getting quite a bit of iron ore let's set up the bloomery and the smithy and I'm gonna throw another family in here so we can get the rest of these berries picked before winter comes Because, like I said, we are expanding really fast, and I don't want to run out of food. And berries is the easiest food source that we've got, other than the animals. But the animals, it's hard to kind of manage that, because, yeah, we've only got one meat, and we can't overhunt this, or they'll be gone forever. So, we got to kind of play at a pace. But uh, we're actually getting a ton of timber in. That's good. And uh, once I start seeing these tools go up, actually, we'll just go do it now. Let's actually, what's well, on my mind to order another horse. Well, let's go here. I think it's, uh, where's the tools are right here. Okay. Export. And we'll keep five. I don't know if it actually helps with anything. I'll have to look that up. But let's go right here to the woodcutter. Okay, yeah. We're gonna add another family. Just because it's we're actually getting pretty low there. And I wish I could have two work areas here, but maybe I'm just I might just remove the work area. So I wanted to start replacing these trees too. But uh we're doing pretty good now. Luckily, we caught that because you can you could easily forget that you uh, are growing super fast and your people are going to eat more food. It's really easy to forget about that. But uh, we're uh, we've run out of houses, so let's uh, start building some more. Actually, there we go. And that is going to be us out of space with that. Oh, there we go. We ran out. But I don't think I want to get rid of these guys. Hmm. 
I don't want to lose their market stalls, but I also don't want to just have like squatters, so we'll get rid of them. And uh, we can start upgrading some of these. How many do we need? Um, we need uh, only two. So that's good. We'll leave that for now. And we've got five building families, so. But uh, we have raiders coming pretty soon. And but we have this retinue now. And we try to remember. Okay, yeah, taxes. Let's pop up the tax to 10%. We're not going to get a ton of money because we're kind of low on regional wealth right now. But well, let's look at them real quick. So we have five retinue right now, and we can we can uh, upgrade their armor eventually. But we don't have any treasury at the moment. But uh, wow, that is one ugly dude. But we can uh, customize these guys. I think yeah, right here. All right. <laughs> I don't know why that list looks goofy. I mean, the top looks fine, but this guy looks like, I don't know. <laughs> I, don't know. Um, I think I like the, like it's a, kind of a dress, but that's kind of the coolest one. I think give him a sword and a shield. I think that's the coolest looking helmet. <coughs> I don't want to spend too much time working on this. I was just going to kind of give him the ogre green. Should we just make them all green? <coughs> Sorry about that. But yeah, we can kind of customize them. I'm not going to spend too much time on this. Just make sure they're not wearing any uh, goofy pants. We have that guy have an axe. This guy's got a, a hammer. Well, this guy's a pole arm. So we can have him have a halberd. I mean, that's our only choice. There's just different styles. That's cool. We'll leave it with that. This guy's got a, is that a spear? No, that's a halberd. That's pretty cool though. And he's not green, but I mean, I could set them all to green, but eventually I'm going to have a lot of these guys. So <laughs> I'm not going to worry about it for now. But eventually we can upgrade this. But we're a little low on uh, timber right now because we just built all those houses. And once we have a treasury as well, we can bump that up to 12, but we can have eventually 24. I'm trying to get a few more men here because we're getting attacked in a few days. But let's check this out. Got five spears. We need five more shields. I'm trying to get this to be a full unit because we have enough men now. We just don't have the equipment. And I'm not great with I'm not doing great with money right now, so I'm not going to worry about getting our armor and stuff. Well, let's see how are our tools doing. Okay, we're doing really good with tools now. Did I establish a trade route? No. Not yet. Just checking the upgrades here. I think that's our next one that we're going to get. Which we're really close. We just need to wait for these to be built. this full what's the other one that's full it won't tell me there we go the logging camp's full we should probably throw another family in the storage they're just slack in here oh it's because he's sick oh they do get sick so maybe we should upgrade that when we get enough money
But uh, yeah, it's a, we're getting these built. But eventually we'll have crops here. But we're building this at the right time because it's winter. And we can't do the crops anyways right now. But I feel like all this is taking forever. So we just need one more of those to finish. Okay, I can't remember. What did I say <laughs> that we needed 25 for? Oh, is this? Okay. Look at that upgrading. Our approval just went up 5%. That's great. I mean, they're a little pissed about taxes, but I mean, who likes taxes? We actually have enough that we can uh, claim something, but I don't really want to worry about that right now because I don't have the forces to really, <laughs> you know, uh, support that. Perfect. We're going to do that one. I'm trying to remember. I thought there was one. I wonder if it's just an update or something because I thought there was one that made it so to start a new trade route they made it so it was only 25 but apparently I'm either crazy or that's changed which it could be I'm crazy I mean it happens But yeah, so you see here that we can have helmets, gamisons, and uh, mail. But that's going to cost a lot of money that I don't have right now. And I want to save up 180 so we can set a trade route for the, the tools here. But our roof tiles, we're running low on roof tiles. Let's see. Let's see where the bottleneck is here. So we, we actually got a ton of clay. It's probably. Where's this bandit camp? Ooh, it is right there. Let's actually uh, take care of that. And we'll call the red new, even though there's only five of them for now. So let's. Uh... Watch them, they're just walking. And uh, hopefully that ox isn't glitched. And it's just a guy was carrying it. Not carrying the ox, but uh, leading it. I'd be impressed if he was carrying the ox. Let's see. Oh yeah, it's waiting for a guide. One of these guys is probably leading it along. But uh... Got our army mo uh, mobilized. These guys definitely look cool. Eventually, we can get them better armor. And these guys will get better armor too once we have money. Actually, our money just jumped. I don't even know what that was about. And I want to fight outside of our territories because if I don't, I have to deal with the corpses, <laughs> which I don't want to deal with. Because I'd have to build a corpse pit, which we're going to have to. Oh my gosh. We're getting raided soon, too, so let's have a warm-up fight here. And I really didn't make mean to make the retinue uh, sprint the whole way here. Yeah, we got to mop this battle up pretty quick. Um, I'm going to leave our money high for a minute just so we can tax them on it. My liege. Yes, sire. Here we go, boys. Actually, we flank them around. Yes, sire. I like this guy in the back just cheering them on. Say, yeah, I'm the cheerleader.
All right, perfect. And I'm going to send the retinue to go collect this. And I want the militia to kind of hurry back. Because if they attack, I don't want to have the village undefended because they'll start burning stuff down. And we're running out of food. Let's... Get some chickens. Uh, I want to get these built before uh, spring comes. I don't know what's taking them forever. Here we go. And actually, I might send this to the treasury. Actually, I don't want them to sprint. But I might... I'm trying to decide whether I want to get more men or upgrade the ones I have with this money. Maybe we could hire mercenaries, but I don't think we really need to. All right, they're here. Uh, let's disband these guys real quick. And where's my mana go? There it is. I build up in the trees. I can't even find it. Actually, that we don't need a matter. We need to go here. Customize them. It's 50 each. Okay, we got three more guys. That's good. Rally them here. Okay, back to normal speed. Where's the enemies at? Actually, they're over here, but the enemy lord looks like he might be engaging them. Yeah, there's only two groups of 18. Not really worried about that. I don't really need his uh, massive army here. So this is why I don't want to contest anything that he's doing right now. I uh, The mod I started um, it gives him significantly bigger armies. He's going to try to cut them off. I don't think they're going to make it in time. But uh, let's fight them outside of our territory so I don't have to deal with corpses. And I'm hoping we don't lose anyone here, but we might. And let's actually... Before we don't have enough money, let's go down here. Drop that. Oh boy. How do we have negative food? We don't have negative food. Okay. Okay, the berries are coming in again. Let's, uh, quick, go get us some berries. We can start growing some of these carrots. Which family's starving? Oh. Okay. If you say so. Um, never really had to do this before, but we might have to import some food. Wow. The difference in that is pretty crazy. But let's go for just a little bit bread. Pick up the pace. So let's uh, balance that out a little bit more. And it would have been ideal if this guy fought him instead of us, but we can handle him. Stand and fight. Sire. Yes, sire. Infantry. Yes, sire. Run. Oh, we lost the retinue. Crap. I mean, I'd rather lose retinue, actually. We lost another one. 
Oh, we lost the uh, militia. Wow. We're losing way more people than I'd like. about uh seven people there not good we'll live though yeah that's where i would have liked the other lord to have been able to intercept him then he would have lost people not me but less mouths to feed right I think uh, we don't have enough money. It's gonna put her down more chicken farms. Oh, I just got a big chunk of money there. Chicken farms don't produce a ton of food, but it's something and it's consistent, which is kind of what we need right now. Okay, the food's going up. And did we buy bread? Yeah, we bought some bread. But I'm hoping that we get a ton of money here soon. We got a new family. I'm going to throw them here. Let's go to logistics. And we'll put down another hitching post. And uh, get a couple more horses. Let's uh, do a walkthrough real quick. Oh, hey. Oh, sorry, we got like floating sticks here. Man, this game's just so beautiful, though. Like I said in the other video, it's just like it feels like it's Kingdom Come Deliverance, like but a strategy game. Like all the houses are not just like the same. Like this house is much wider than this one. You just got the market here. Like, you feel like you're actually in a medieval village. And you can, like, I'm not very, uh, creative when it comes to designing stuff. But you imagine, like, you make a really cool cities and villages. Oh. But you see her, she's, like, struggling with that. Oh, man. You see the fire coming out of the chimneys. It's a beautiful game. We got a ton of berries coming in. This is perfect. I mean, I would like a little bit more food storage, but we're taking what we can get. And uh, we could probably sell a little bit of leather too. If I could find where it's at right here. Export. Um, I don't think we have enough to really bother with the trade route, but I think we can get away with 20. Got a new family. I might throw them. Is this still growing? Might throw them here for now. I'm going to take them out pretty soon, but. Let's see, can we see the people out? I should start killing this. I was hoping to get a some food. There we go. So then get a crop in before winter. This would be perfect because it's a lot of food. What do we need for? Let's check. 
level three. Need more clothes and more food. Let's try to think. Um, I think food wise, we could grow some, but like, like I said, we don't really have anywhere. We have this tiny patch, but hmm. Once we get enough money, we can start importing some food, but I don't know what we're buying. Oh, it's probably bread. Yeah, I imagine it's the bread that we're, uh, but eventually when we get enough families, we can, uh, start building some of these. The problem with these is, uh, when we choose one of these, we lose access to one of our families that we can assign. So that's kind of a low priority right now until we have an excess amount, which we kind of do. We probably get away with one. Let's see, do I have any of these on a sign? We do. Okay, my plan is kind of working, kind of not. Because, like, these people are all upgrading, but these people, they can't. But, uh, let's grab a couple of upgrades here. Okay. And it might turn these buildings into, uh, some, what are they called? Uh, artisans, that's what they're called. But uh, we can start selling some more stuff, and we can, uh... Like, I can get the cobblers, and they have shoes. I don't know what that was. It just disappeared. Oh, we can do some policies. I don't remember. I don't think they're that good. And I keep losing my manor. Do I have a road to it? That's awkward. I don't remember where to do the policies at. Is that here? Yes, here. So we could trade approval. Oh, we could do that. I don't care about that. We don't have any crops. Oh, it's only our rich deposits, though. Maybe I don't want to do that. I don't know if that affects like our vegetables. Hmm. Our approval is doing pretty good right now. We're struggling with food. Let's run that for a minute. If they get too pissed at us, we'll uh, change that. But for now, they're going to have to live with it. But we're doing pretty good now. We, we've got enough food to last a little bit. I might even... Uh, we have negative one meat. That's how good we're doing. We're negative amount of food. But uh, I'm going to turn this off for now. I think it's eating a ton of our money. Ooh. Perfect. Um, I don't even, I haven't even thought this far ahead. Wow. I don't even know which one I want. I might get the charcoal burning. The orchard, oh, I almost clicked on it. The orchard's really good too, but the problem is I'm just not going for any of these. Huh. Beekeeping isn't bad either. I might grab this. I'm gonna definitely gonna get one of these. I think the orchard because we do need different kinds of food to make our people happy. But with that, I need to build some more of these. Build three more. Actually, 
Should we? These are a little bit different than the vegetable fields because they actually have to till these, but once they're planted, the vegetables just kind of grow. Hey, will this be safe and do three? But I wonder if the problems here, why we're not seeing them till. Okay, it's not what I thought. I was just wondering if nobody was living here yet. But like, they really didn't plant anything. I mean, they have this whole garden and they just planted a few, uh, looks like turnips. But we're getting to about 42 minutes of the recording. So I think I'm gonna end it off here. But uh, thank you guys for watching if you made it this far. No, look at this. We're just getting tons of families moving in. But uh, thank you for lasting this long if you did. And uh, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you.